Hello and welcome to another webcast brought to you by Nerd Enterprises Incorporated and yours truly, Seth David. Once again, we have another very special webcast planned and prepared for you. I spent hours planning for this. Actually, no, I really spent about five minutes. But I check my blogs, my QuickBooks blog and Excel blog, periodically because WordPress is good enough to give me information about what you're searching for when you go to my blog. So I checked and it looked like there were some people searching for information about exporting templates in Excel. So I thought because it's actually such a simple thing, I would combine several import and export concepts into one short webcast. And that's what I'm prepared to bring you today. Because it's the holiday season and I want to be giving and I want to give you a gift, the gift of knowledge of how to do things in QuickBooks. Now let's say... Let's say that your next door neighbor has the coolest chart of accounts you've ever seen. And let's say they have a business that's similar to yours. So you would love to use that person's chart of accounts. The question is, how can I get their chart of accounts? Well, you can run a report and export it to Excel. And now with QuickBooks 2010, you can actually, you can't import, you can't use the lists feature in QuickBooks 2010 for the chart of accounts. I just discovered that last week. You can use it for customers and vendors and items, but not accounts. It doesn't work for accounts. With the accounts, you have to import them the old-fashioned way. So that we're going to go over that today. We're going to go over exporting and ex importing lists and templates, because the other one is the invoice template. So I might have a gorgeous invoice template. Maybe I'm starting a new company, my second company, and I want to use the same invoice template because it's so good. And I don't want to have to spend all the hours redesigning it all over again. Well, the good news is there's a way to do this. There is absolutely a way to do this. And we're going to show you how. We're going to show you how because we care. First thing I need to do is bring you over and share with you my desktop. Wait for my test screen to catch up here. A little bit of a delay today. I don't know what is going on. Here it is. It'll probably come out fine in the recording. Here's my QuickBooks blog. If you haven't seen it, it's very possible you're watching this because you have seen it. But anyway... This is our QuickBooks blog. Not really what I want to show you, though. This is a QuickBooks company file. Now, the export function is a little different for a chart of accounts or a list versus exporting a template. So when I'm exporting a template, what I really want to do is I want to bring up that list of templates. So let's say I have the gorgeous invoice. Let's say it's this one. Let's say it's the progress invoice. This is really very easy. I'm just going to choose templates and I'm going to choose export. And look at this. It has me in my QuickBooks 2010 folder. So you want to obviously browse to a folder where it's going to be easy to find things. Look, you're going to get to see all my files on this free webcast. Let's go here. And let me just create a new folder here real quick. Import, export, lists, and templates. So I export my progress invoice. I'm going to rename it and call it Gorgeous Invoice. Save that. So now I've got my invoice template. And obviously if I had estimates and anything else, I, I could do that here too. You just do each one individually and save the template. What you're going to see, if I browse quickly to that folder I just created. Uh, it's not here. It's in the Learning Center. Free. And I can go by Date Modified. It gets me right to the top. So you'll see what it does. It creates a special type of file called a .des file. Next, I want to get my lists. One way to do it is go to File, and I want to go to Utilities, then Export, and then Lists to IIF Files. And right here, I can grab my chart of accounts. I don't really need to do it with the customers and vendors, but if I'm doing this already anyway, it doesn't hurt. I just check off customers, vendors, and so on. So let's say that's all I need. Let's say I need my uh, 
Charter accounts my customers and vendors. Obviously, you can go through here and check off the ones that you need. COA for Charter accounts, cust, vend. I only need these files for a minute. Click OK. It says the data has been exported successfully. Then we're going to close this. We're going to create a brand new company file. I'm going to skip the interview for now. Lists and templates. Next. Who cares? Let's do an S Corp. Next. I don't want to choose anything here because I'm going to import my chart of accounts. And if I select something, then QuickBooks is going to create my chart of accounts for me. Come up here. Copy my file path right into here to the file name to get me right there. And I save it. It's going to create my company file. So much fun. Fifty percent. Take your time, QuickBooks. Don't rush. I want you to do this right. There we go. Went from fifty to ninety. And congratulations. Now, file. Oops, file. Utilities. Import. IIF files. First of all, let me show you that there's no tricks here. I got nothing up my sleeve. See, sure enough, there's no chart of accounts here. File, utilities, import. IIF files. I still have that file path on my clipboard, so I can just paste it in here. But it turns out I'm there. So I just check off. There's my file that I created for the customers, vendors, and items. I click Open. Importing. And there it is there. Now we have our whole entire chart of accounts. Now the templates, I go to Lists. I go to Templates. Down here under Templates, I click at the very bottom left here. And then, the choice is obvious. I'm going to choose Import. Click that. Browse to my location. I'm already there in this case. There's my gorgeous invoice. Click Open. And boom! There's my template. Now, of course, in your case, you would have picked an actual gorgeous invoice template. You wouldn't have used one of these. So, but that's it. There it is there. You have the whole process done. Now, you can also import your chart of accounts from Excel, if you have it in Excel. In that case, you have to actually go to the chart of accounts. Then at the way at the bottom here, choose Account. And then you choose Import from Excel. This is in QuickBooks 2010. This is how you do it if you want to bring in your chart of accounts, if you haven't laid out in an Excel spreadsheet. Because like I said at the beginning, the other way is you could have run a report and exported it to Excel from the other company. Now this is complicated. I'm not going to go through it here in this uh, webcast, but what you have to do now is go through the mapping process and you essentially have to have QuickBooks access the Excel file and tell QuickBooks where is it going to find the account type, where is it going to find the account description, where is it going to find the account number if that applies, and so on and so forth. That's a, a whole different webcast. But there it is there. You have it the simple way to export your invoice templates or estimate templates and your lists, your customer list, vendor list, item list, all that stuff can be exported into those IIF files and then imported in exactly the manner that I've just shown you. So once again, I hope you've enjoyed another wonderful webcast here with us at Nerd Enterprises Incorporated. We're happy to help. I hope you're having a great holiday season. And I look forward to seeing you on the web. Ciao.